All right, what's up car people? Today we've got a brand new 2018 F-250 and we're gonna fit some 35 inch Toyos underneath there. Customer wants to get rid of these little tiny rinky dinkies and put some super cool fuel wildcat Ow! rims with Toyo tires. So we've got a leveling kit so the front end will pop up a little bit and we can put these big bad boys under there. Stay tuned and we will show you how it's done. Every truck comes stock, stock, little tiny rinky dinkies. Customer wants to fit in some bigger meaty tires to get these big bad boys underneath that truck. Fit some meatier tires. Bigger meaty tires. 35 inch tires. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to install it. We're gonna show you what goes in to the process of putting rims, tires, a spacer kit, and a programmer on a brand new truck. Stay tuned. All right, step one is obviously gonna to be to remove our wheel, get the vehicle up in the air. Uh, we have the benefit of using an automotive lift to get this safely up in the air. So if you're gonna do this at home, be safe, use jack stands, make sure it's level ground, make sure it's solid ground. Okay, so the aftermarket wheels do not come with TPMS sensors. So what we did was, is we robbed the original TPMS sensor, the tire pressure monitoring sensor, from the original tires, and we installed it on a new valve stem. Uh, unfortunately, the fuel wheels don't come with TPMS sensors, they just come with a valve stem. Uh, so that's gonna be hard to do at home, but you wanna do that to keep the light uh, off on your dash. So step one is to remove the shock bolt from the shock assembly so we can lower the axle and of course we'll do that on both sides helpful tip get the wheel turned all the way to one direction then you can pull it right out so step two is going to be to remove the brake line bracket so we can move this brake line out of the way to not damage it while we're working on that. Step three, we're gonna remove the sway bar link from the system to remove it out of the way. Okay, so now with everything disconnected, we have our shock loose, we have our sway bar loose, we've got the brake line unbolted. You'll notice that when we start lifting the body, the whole front end drops, and that'll allow us to take the spring out. Go ahead, Ryan. One more. One more. Stop. Okay, with everything disconnected, what we're after is to remove this spring so we can get access to the stock spacer. Uh, once we replace that stock spacer, it'll pull the spring up and that's what will give us our two inches. Uh, you may have to wrestle with this spring a little bit. Sometimes they're in there kind of tight. Um, and you've got to be real careful of your brake lines, not to damage your brake lines. So there's a bolt right down the center of your stock spacer. Once you remove that, we can install the new spacer. With the spring out of the way, you can now get access to your bolt that holds the stock spacer in, and then we can install our new spacer. Okay, so we can fit our new spacer into place. Once the spacer is into place, we take the stock spring pad, install it, and then we use the bolt supplied from Rough Country to install it all back into place. Okay. 
Okay, so when you're putting this back together, there's a few things you want to be cognizant of, but you need to make sure the orientation of the upper spring insulator here is set up correctly. You'll notice there's a place where the spring end sits right in that little groove. So you want to make sure that when you install the spring back in there, that it is in the right position. The same on the bottom. There is a place on that bottom spring cup that allows for the end of the spring to sit. So pay attention to where it came off so you can put it back together correctly. What I'm doing here is I'm gonna line up your sway bar links to make sure that when we drop it into place that the bolt goes directly through the sway bar itself. Now once you've lined up your shock, your sway bar, your brake bracket and hose, you can insert the stock bolts back into the shock. All right, installation is complete, and one of the final steps is to download the information on the Hypertech reprogrammer. Okay, so we have downloaded our program and updated the Hypertech programmer uh, to compensate for the big meaty tires. Uh, we now need to hook it up to the back side of the instrument cluster, which means we need to pull the instrument cluster out. So we'll go through that process. It's pretty easy. Uh, programming this was super easy and then it's time to drive it. Okay, so we've pulled away the shroud for the steering column. It pulls up very easily. And the next thing we need to do is remove these seven millimeter bolts. All right, with our bolts removed, we need to now pull the upper IC shroud out and this is always hair, hair bending for me. I don't like pulling on dash work. Um, it's all plastic, so uh, we'll cross our fingers and start yanking. Okay, with the shroud removed, we can now gain access to the four seven millimeter bolts that hold in our instrument cluster. One, two, three, four.
Okay, so the Hypertech system comes with a new harness, and then we'll use that harness as a link in between our new uh, programmer to the cluster. Pretty simple. It's just plugging it right into the back of the cluster, right here. Last thing we want to do before we put everything back together is zip tie the two connectors together from the vehicle harness side to the new Hypertech harness. And this will ensure that there's a nice fit. Here we want to make sure uh, that this never comes apart. Okay, so we're finished with our F-250 leveling kit and rim and tire package. Bottom line is, is to fit a bigger tire, a big meaty tire underneath a nice big truck like this, this is an inexpensive way. Uh, doing a leveling kit, you are changing the suspension height without changing a whole bunch of part of the suspension. You can't fit a huge tire, but you can fit you know, a 35 in there pretty easily. So, came out real nice. Looks nice and aggressive. Gas mileage will probably go down a little bit with these big tires, but who cares? We got a big, meaty F2 fit. All right, so do us a favor, like our page, subscribe, look for more leveling kits, suspension lift kits, wheel and tire packages. Uh, we do all type of repair. This is one of the more fun things we do. We really enjoy doing it, uh, but do us a favor, subscribe to us, and happy motoring.